Hello and welcome back to my nail corner. Today I have a West Coast Dips liquids to show you guys. She sent over her gel base, gel top, and matte gel top coat. Um, I will talk about those in a minute. And then these are the dip liquids. So there is a prep slash bond, which I am not using because I have builder gel already on my nails, so I don't need that. And then you have your dip base, your dip activator and then your dip top coat and then there is a step five which is actually a, probably not a step in order you don't have to use this um, but it's a brush saver so if you have a brush that hardens or anything like that you can use that to save your brush and soften it back up so it is usable so keep that in mind if you have any issues with hardening brushes that's great to come with a set of liquids so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my application here I am using West Coast dips powders this color is porcelain and this one was a little trippy for me. When I opened this to swatch it initially, and you can kind of tell in the video, it looked like a really light blue. Like it's a it's a white with the blue undertone, I guess. And I was like, hmm, I don't know how this is gonna go. But when I swatched it, I was like, that just looks like white. Like if I hadn't seen the powder in the jar, I would have been sure that it was just white. So that's interesting to me and don't be deceived when you look at a powder it's gonna look different on your nails or on a swatch so definitely uh, don't judge a book by its cover judge a powder by its jar I don't know <laughs> okay so while I'm applying this I'm just gonna chat with you guys real quick first of all the base applied really nicely I do want to say that before I get into this sorry that this upload is late today my week has been totally thrown off as I said in my last video my husband and I went out of town for a couple of days which was fantastic we spent a couple of days at a lake house with some friends and just had a blast like carefree kid free like just fun we went out on a boat we were tubing my husband tried wakeboarding like we just had a great time and came home so sore like who knew that at 35 playing that hard was going to make me as sore as i was it was like it was my workout for sure i didn't have to feel guilty for not being in the garage gym while we were away because man did i get a workout in so we had a blast and then we got back and we're just kind of catching up with the kids and the house and that kind of stuff and then my husband usually goes to work on tuesdays and so i usually really get myself organized get my upload ready and all that stuff and we got thrown off because there was a covid exposure on um his SWAT team at work and so he couldn't go back to work unless he got a negative COVID test um, and he could have just gone a couple more days but he's a workaholic in a lot of ways and just wants to be you know proactive and so we had to hunt down uh, an available slot to get a COVID test done yesterday and now he's back to work so I'm just kind of like a day delayed on what my typical life schedule is around this house and then yeah I mean it's August you guys is anybody else like got kids rearing up for the school year and that sort of thing like we homeschool so I have already researched what curriculum I want to use this year because I knew I wanted to switch it up and I had to do like little placement tests for my kids to just make sure that I was getting them the correct level of curriculum with this new one and all that stuff and then yeah August is just gonna be a slamming full month I do want to warn you guys in advance and apologize that there may be a little inconsistency. I'm going to try to get a few weeks ahead here, um, do a bunch of manis and record them for you guys, but I am childcare for my sister-in-law's two-year-old when she goes into labor and she's due August 11th. And so it's just like a couple weeks surrounding that of just waiting for that phone call to drop everything and they live about an hour away so I'll drop everything grab a go bag and go and take care of my nephew who is two which is just such an honor um, but yeah I need to get myself organized and get a little ahead or there will be gaps in my upload schedule so I will try to keep you guys apprised of that so this powder is beautiful it reminds me a bit of Manny Boss sweet summertime especially in that taking photos of it I found to be 
challenging on my skin tone, like to get the true color. So what you're seeing in video, I think is the most accurate probably representation of the color. It matches the glitter that I'm gonna use just perfectly. But when I took pictures, the glitter showed up like a really nice, I think true to what I'm seeing with my eyes. But the solid just looks a little bit more orange in pictures than it is in person. Like it's, it's a much more like, soft neon I don't know I'm not very good at describing this but regardless what you're seeing in video form I believe is going to be really close to what the true color looks like on my hands and I just love this color I was not ready to let go of summer yet you're probably going to see some fall manis coming up soon but I needed at least one last like bright summery color to really enjoy especially coming off a weekend on the lake like it's still feeling like summer here where are you in this country? Tell me about where you are, what your summer is like. Is summer ending for you? Are you in a place that's perpetual summer? So you're just like, what are you talking about? Here in Washington, July and August are like the highlight of our summer. Um, it's very dry here. We haven't had rain in a long time. I would say seven or eight weeks measurable rain at minimum. Um, so people don't know that a lot about Washington. We go into drought in the summer because we just get no rain. But the rest of the year we make up for it with what I like to call wet air. It's just like a mist for nine months in the air. Um, but yeah, we're really thriving here in the summer. It's like 80s and just gorgeous here. So if you need a place for a moderate summer, the Pacific Northwest is a great spot to visit for that. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish up with my basic application here of these nails. I'm going to do two dips of color and then cap in clear. And then we're going to get into the glitter. So hang in there and I'll be back in just a second.
did you see that quick little peek at the new cuticle tool that I'm using? It is a glass cuticle pusher like you've seen me use before to clean up around the edges, but this one is itty bitty. It's got like a much more precise tip. I'll try to pop a picture in here to compare the two for you. I got it on Amazon. Um, I think that... I think Julie over at Dip Nails by Jules is the first one that I heard mention it um, and pop the link in like a group chat that we're in. Um, I think Carol might have them too over at Toby Nails. I'm not sure. But anyway, they are awesome. So definitely consider grabbing those. I will pop the link from Amazon in my description box below and they're also going to be in my storefront. Um, but I'm really loving those for cleaning up around the cuticle. They're, they're much more of a precise tip than the ones I already had from Bonafide Beauty. Uh, which work fine as well if you like them, but the more precise tip, I mean, it's a small space around your cuticle, like right around that dip powder. So I like that little, just really fine tip that's on the new ones that I'm using. So I've reactivated those nails and I'm going in with my dip top coat. Um, I am going to be doing a water slide decal on that white nail and that's why I skipped it. Um, in general, if I was going to do that, I would probably just do gel top over all of my nails, but I wanted to go ahead and apply the dip top coat for you guys so you could see that in action. Um, it is applied just like every other dip top coat you see me apply, so you want to activate your dip powder after you file and buff, and then go ahead and take like a lint-free wipe to just wipe off any moisture from that activator. You don't want excess activator on the nail, but it, it needs to be there because your activator is what cures your top coat. So after you've done that, you go in with your first layer of top coat. Your first layer of top coat is just two to three quick swipes over the nail. You don't want to linger on the nail because that activator will start to harden your top coat brush because it's curing your top coat. So don't linger on that first application. So two to three quick swipes and then wipe it on a paper towel, go back into the bottle, and then go right around and start over again. And your second application can be much more precise, much more thorough. You can kind of take your time, get all the way around to your cuticle, your sidewalls, and cap the free edge just like that to seal everything in nicely for a longer lasting mani. And that should dry down in about two minutes. It's pretty standard. Um, for dip top coat, I went ahead and started messing with my like stamper and everything to get my water slide ready. I did end up smudging my pinky because it wasn't fully dry and I accidentally judged it on something. I don't even know how, but I did smudge it. Um, but if that happens to you, no big deal. You can either buff the surface smooth and then apply activator and your dip top coat again, or you could go over it with your gel top coat, whatever you want to do. It's an easy fix if you do end up messing up your top coat being impatient like I am. So those decals are from Poshi. I'm not sure if that decal is still on the website, but I will check. And if it is, I will link it in the description box below. I got it uh, like two summers ago, but super cute palm tree, had to have it. So I am applying gel base to my dip powder on that white nail. That gel base is gonna cure for 30 seconds and then it's gonna give me a little bit of a tacky layer. And I like that for doing water slides. It's not essential. You could apply it just to your dip powder. You could put um, top coat on, I've seen that. You could do your dip top coat and then apply a water slide on top of that and then seal it in again. You could apply it and then do a clear dip over that and then dip top coat if you don't wanna mess with gels but this is my preferred um, method since I don't have any gel allergies or anything. So I did a 30 second cure on that gel base to give me that tacky layer. I soaked the water slide in water and now I've pulled it out with my tweezers and I'm picking it up using my jelly stamper. So this gives me a nice clean look through the stamper at where I'm going to place that on my nail. And then once I've decided where to place it, you just press it on like you would a stamp and it's gonna kind of the jelly stamper is really nice because it's flexible and it will mold to your nail it kind of pushes it into place really nicely and so I really like that method of application so if you haven't tried that consider it and this is just a makeup sponge I get it a little damp with water and then press so that if I have any wrinkles or anything from the excess kind of clear transfer from the water slide that that just kind of presses it down nice and smooth. The moisture is just to like, I don't know, I, I, it's hard to explain. Water slides are almost like a tissue paper type 
texture. So adding the moisture to it just makes them flexible again to just lay them nice and flat and kind of press them into that sticky layer I have from my gel base. So um, this isn't the first time you've seen me do water slides, but I do like to talk through what I'm doing just in case you are new here. And if you are, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're here. Please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me at no expense or cost of any kind to you, except that you'll get notified that there's more content from me. So if you like this, then those are great things to do. So now I am sealing in this water slide using the gel top coat from West Coast Dips. I have to say this gel top coat is the bomb, you guys. I love it so much. I can't stop running my fingers over like the surface of the nail. It's so smooth, so glossy. I highly recommend picking it up if you're over on their website shopping. So good. And if it's your first order from West Coast Dips, Welcome 10, I believe, is the code. I'll put it in the description box for you um, that gets you 10% off of your first order. And they are a Canadian company, so when you're shopping, what you're looking at is Canadian prices, which transfers to less US dollars. So if you're in the US and you're shopping, just know that your dollar is going further than you even think on her already great prices. So check that out. Um, finishing up with my candy skincare as always to hydrate my cuticles after I tormented them with filing and buffing and chemicals and all sorts of things. So definitely grab yourself some candy skincare as well. Discount in my discount link below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day. Again, sorry for the late upload. I will try to get myself together and I will see you guys in my next vid. Bye now.